is not the standard kind of heroic monument where all the major figures are on pedestals. In fact, um, they're being shown at the point of their greatest humiliation. Um, they agreed, these are members of the city of Calais that were being uh, captured by the British. And they agreed to be uh, representatives of the rest of the town so that they would be the ones that are captured. So you see they have ropes around their necks and they're, they're wearing like they're they were pulled out of bed, and so they're just sort of being dragged around out of town. And each one of them has a different kind of expression on their face. Some of them are angry, some of them are despairing, some of them are, are stoic about it. And, and now, today, we look at these statues and we think, wow, this is you know, really expressive. If you look at their hands, their hands are much larger than they should be, their feet too. And those exaggerations make, it, make them more emotionally expressive. The thing that bothered people, though, was that they weren't like the great heroes. They were, they were like human beings, and they were too emotional. But I like to walk amongst the, the crowd here. This is, this is, so I can be one of them as well. And then you walk around, though, and, and then see, you can see like pieces of the handprints of Rodin, what, which ended up being in these bronze casts. So first he worked these in plaster, and then he made casts. Um, but you can see where he starts exaggerating the anatomy. He certainly knows about anatomy, but he's one of these guys that's just right on the crest of, of modernity and breaking away from trying to do um, sort of picture window types of sculptures here. And the expressions are really quite, quite wonderful as well. And you'll notice that some of them are carrying keys. Those are the keys to the city that they're going to hand over to their is going to be my exhibit. Indicates that they may have been. 